The college football season is upon us, and the only thing manlier than watching college football is taking care of your balls. Manscaped.com is the only men's brand dedicated to below-the-waist grooming and hygiene. Fellas, I present to you the Perfect Package 2.0. With the Perfect Package 2.0, you will get the Crop Reviver, a spray-on body toner designed for highly sensitive and high friction areas of the body. You also get the Crop Reserver, ball deodorant that will help get rid of chafing. That's right, fellas, no more chafing. You also receive my personal favorite, the Lawnmower 2.0. This electric trimmer is cordless, 100% waterproof, and features a strong 6,000 RPM motor that can handle coarse and curly hair without tugs and pulls, and has a rust-resistant replaceable ceramic blade module to prevent nicks and snags. Why should you get the Perfect Package 2.0, you ask? Subscribers get a new replacement blade refill for their trimmer delivered to their door every three months, and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, if you nip your sack, send it back. And you know what? Because I'm feeling generous, I'll even throw in some more stuff. If you order the Perfect Package 2.0, I'll make sure they include the new Plow 2.0 Safety Razor as part of their first replenishment pack. And, I'll also make sure they include the Shed Travel Bag. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, that's because it is. You could say it's the perfect package for your package. Head on over to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free shipping with promo code BH20. That's 20% off with promo code BH20. Here's JT working. First, JT. First down. Jonathan Taylor rolling. Touchdown. Wisconsin 72 yards. Vaughn takes the snap. With time to throw across the middle, incomplete. No, it's a catch, a one-handed grab at the 30-yard line by Jamon Osmond. Well, it was a nice catch, and that was fortunately not picked off. Or whatever in it. It's a lot easier when you can just use the all-for-one body wash instead of shampoo and conditioner. How about checking off goal for the end zone? And it's caught by Wilson. Opportunity to go up and get it. The linebackers Lamont and Sparacio are in there on uh, Pacheco. This pass complete. Blackshear into the clear. Sprinting. Raheem Blackshear won't be caught. Touchdown. Coast to coast. Raheem Blackshear. Plumley. It's going to throw. Caught. And they're going to mark. Elijah Moore short of the goal line. It's fourth down. They've got to hurry up. Clock is moving. He better call a play because he's got to throw it. Plumley. No. Did he get in? It doesn't look like it. Cal has held. What a finish. First one there to make sure that wasn't going forward. Smith out of the pocket, pressure from behind, dumps it at the feet. Did that hit an offensive lineman? That's batted up in the air. FIU thinks they got an interception. That's an interception right there. No signal yet. That's yes. That's an interception. FIU pick. Smith was just trying to throw it at the feet, but instead, it's David Reynolds, the freshman from Nashville. So here we go. Ruggles, six of eight on the season. Again, that long of 49 against Wake in their most recent game. From 56 yards away, it's Noah Ruggles, the sophomore, to tie this game for the Tar Heels. It got deflected and blocked. And on the final play of the game, Appalachian State has defeated North Carolina 34 to 31 in Chapel Hill. Guys, probably maybe a future mayor of Pullman one day. Yeah, you believe it. Did he cut his own he's George? Got, he's got the hey, last question. Did you cut your own George? Did you buy him like that? No, absolutely. Come on. See, major street cred for of that. Of course. That, that's all endeavors, man. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. To the right side and on second down. To the air again and a completion for a touchdown to Joshua Kelly. Receiver to the left. Borgie on the move. The sidearm for six. Looking to go over the top, and the reach out, and the catch is made by Winston. And that's his second touchdown 
drive of the ball game, 28 yards from Gordon. So far, a lot of other folks trying to take uh, take his lead. That was almost caught and then bobbled and intercepted. Takeaways in the first half tonight for the Bruins, and they'll give it right back. Bad decision by Thompson Robinson, and it's taken away by Skyler Thomas. Conversation at the end of the year. Have not had to punt yet tonight. And this is Felton on the receiving end of the kickoff. Weaving his way out across the 35, breaking a tackle. And he is gone. Flag down at the 20 yard line behind him as Felton takes it home. To start. Former UCLA quarterback, and it's the fourth touchdown pass of the half for Anthony Gordon and the third catch. Gordon already 240 yards through the air in the first half. All day to throw it, a missed tackle, a stiff arm, and he's going inside the 30 and knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Third and goal out of the timeout. To the end zone, back shoulder, did Martin get the feet down? He did. Touchdown, Washington State. Thompson Robinson. Find time, he will heave it. The distance pops up and it's caught by UCLA down to the one yard line. And they come up a yard shot. They love those kind of guys. With the cat out of the bag. Gordon looking deep down the middle, has a man now caught for a touchdown for the fourth time tonight. And it's actually fielded by the up man short with room to run. Aesop Winston down to the five yard line. He's looking for one. And he's got one. He just tied Gardner Minshew's record with a seven. Quarterback will keep it. Touchdown, Bruins. Position. Thompson Robinson with the time, fires it downfield, caught by Coda. Did he stay up? Yes, he did. Touchdown, UCLA. Hold on now. And they got it going again. Felton with a stiff arm. Felton <laughs> with another Ooh. stiff arm. Demetric Felton. A 100-yard kick return earlier tonight, and now a 94-yard Touchdown, catch and run. Plenty of time to pick out a receiver. Another broken tackle, a couple of them, and the ball is out. Wow. And the Bruins have forced another takeaway, and they've got it at the Wazoo 35. Yards on that play. Got it in his hands again. Look into the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Asi, Asi, and it's a 28-point run right now for the Bruins. Over the top, and it's caught at the 10, and into the end zone. Aesop Winston with the touchdown. He'll keep it. He's already got one rushing touchdown, and now he's got another. Spiraling towards the left side. And the Bruins will be able to bring it back. They've already got one special team score tonight. Phillips with one wow. man to beat. And he does. <laughs> and UCLA scores for the sixth time in a row that they've had the football. And they take the lead. I'm in shock. This is been the funnest game of the day with all the offense and everything all the big numbers being put up UCLA fighting this entire game doing it on special teams kickoff return for 100 earlier in the game Gordon Borgie out of the backfield first down and a beautiful cut to spring himself and he'll break another tackle and now Wazoo is back in front Get it with 238 to go as Hicks breaks it up. Right. 
do they? Well, they don't stay on the ground to work the clock. They'll go to the air. Balls out. Isaac Winston. They do get it off. Felton's got it in his hands, and the playmaker <laughs> scores for UCLA. In a long time. Hit from behind, and the ball is out. Wow. And the Bruins have recovered. And the return of Keyshawn Lucier South with the exclamation point. And a sixth takeaway for the defense. This win, I'll tell you, this, this could catapult your team. What an unbelievable game tonight. Bruins down big on the road, and they come all the way back. 67 to 63. Backfill. This is essentially a two-back set. Let's grab the tight end as this goes to Matthews. Aaron Matthews, a Nehemiah job inside the five-yard line. Will work. He started here as a defensive player, now on offense, and Pitt's very happy about that. Franks again turns the corner for six. Oh, they got there. Ball's live inside the 20 and picked up by Pitt. For a touchdown, they got a special team score from Davis. 72 rush yards total. Killens around the corner. He has speed, and he scores. Chris Dulu to punt. And it's away for Anderson, who has to go all the way back inside the 10. Anderson to the outside, showing the speed. Otis Anderson ducks through one, keeps his feet again off a of pirouette, sees the cavalry coming and switches back. Anderson, touchdown! Oh, my! On a fourth down and three. Davis. Matthews. Got it! Pick it! Reception for UCF. Caught initially by Davis, then Nixon. McCray is driven down, and the Pitt Panthers have stolen one and put a blemish on the Knights. What was the name of the play call on the winning touchdown. Pitt special, Pitt special. Heck of a call, heck of a job executing. We didn't execute last week, couldn't. Guys executed today. I'm so proud of this football team being so resilient. The ups and downs of the game were up 21. They came back and, and scored 24 unanswered. Our kids stayed together. Incredible game. Our kids got guts. Our kids are fun. We're a good darn football team. I'm proud of these guys. Your quarterback, took some hits today. He showed a lot of courage, coach. He, he catches the winning touchdown. What's that like? Hey, I tell you what, you know, uh, that virtual deal, Kenny Pickett's a football player. It's a heck of a play. Aaron Matthews to Kenny Pickett. That's the drive. He'll keep it here with Kyle Porter blocking mm. and then toss late downfield to Marquez Stevenson. His top target, the border on play one, puts the Cougs on top. The fake to Bradwell, the lefty McMillan fires, and yeah. it is caught! Touchdown, wow. Jalen McCleskey! Safety blitz coming, De'Ara King makes a miss, and he's got the first down. And he might have the record if he could get to the end zone. Yeah, just like that. He has set the new FBS record 15 consecutive games with a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. De'Ara King by himself in the history books with that 35-yard score for a touchdown. Play action fake. McMillan, deep shot for the speedy Darnell Mooney. Not a sponsor yet, maybe soon. McMillan, cutting it. Touchdown Tulane! A point away from 10-0.
time this game. Guys in action. Oh, it's a trick play. Amari Jones, trick play. Oh, they fooled him. And he works it out near midfield. I love everything about that guy. And he absolutely okey dokes them. Oh, my goodness. Amari Jones out of the pack with eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan launches down the middle for McCluskey, and he breaks free! Jalen McCluskey, touchdown, touchdown! They take the lead with three seconds left! Every player on the Tulane Greenway football team is sprinting down to the corner to celebrate with Jalen McCluskey. Flags are down, who cares? What a tutter for McCluskey! Play action, passes, picked Ooh. off! Picked off by Mizzou and a whole lot of daylight ahead. Ronnell Perkins down the sideline. Perkins! Touchdown! They'll end up getting the ball in their own 26. Calvert, gonna sling it downfield, look for Gandy Golden, one-handed catch! See you later! Gandy Golden to the house! We showed you earlier, last time San Jose State beat a Power 5 team, 2006. Off the right side, big hole! There goes Dijon Packer, touchdown Spartans! Back out in front! Second down and nine. Garbers over the middle, and it's intercepted. DeAndre Prince brings it back to the 34-yard line. There's that land shark chain. Coach McIntyre talked to us about it. At first, he tried to get just like the jaws, the regular jaws of a shark, and he said it didn't look. Nine yards through the air, and two touchdown runs, and he's got another man left. Tariq Milton, he went 73 yards last week, and Tariq Milton is going 73 yards again. He's just gone back to back. Aaron Fuller trying to get a return from the 12. Picked up a block at midfield. Aaron Fuller. He's going to keep on going. Why not? All the way down the sideline. There is a flag. And now, will that translate into the W's and L's? Is the next question. Thank you, Larissa. On first and ten, Carter Stanley's going to take a deep shot. Heads his man. It's Parchman. He's wide open. And they're not going to get him. 75 yards. On second and five, Corbin again, gaping hole. Reggie Corbin's got speed. Corbin breaks the tackle. He's going to go. Touchdown, Illinois. He was too much in the box. Got it confirmed to the outside. Ellinger, downfield shot. Man wide open. Catch made. Brandon Eagles. They won't catch the spreader. Touchdown, Texas. Ingram, reverse, flea flicker. They tricked him, and Texas touchdown to Kane Brewer. Longhorns reclaim the lead. You show pressure and bring it. It is a jailbreak. Fink able to slip the first man. Lofting to the end zone, underthrown, adjustment and a catch. Amon Ross St. Brown, touchdown USC. Play action, only a three-man rush. Downfield, it's Pittman. He goes up the ladder to get it. He's going to take this one inside the 10, inside the 5, and in. A 78-yard strike and a touchdown for USC. And so first and goal. They bring their biggest running back, Marquis Step, into the game. Straight ahead, touchdown USC. His first career score gives the Trojans a two score. Drops back, rolls to his left, still backpedaling, throws, caught for the touchdown! Goal Komet! Irish up 6-0. Ian Book took the snap, patiently backpedaled and shuffled to his left, and floated it back to the middle of the end zone. 
where Cole Komet jumped up and snared it. Snicks nothing Notre Dame. Inside the Irish five-yard line. Give it to Swift. Wow! Power straight ahead. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift. Boy, our road graders cleared some space there. James Cook in motion. He fakes the handoff. And here's Swift. And a hurdle into the secondary for DeAndre Swift. And another first down, Georgia. Right over. Number 20, Sean Crawford that time. Here we go again. All right, on third down, Fromm going to throw it for the corner of the end zone. Cager makes an adjustment, makes the catch. Did he get the foot in? Yeah! Touchdown, Lawrence. Cager spinning in the air, getting a foot in out of the side of the left corner of the end zone. Book takes a snap, looks to the far side of the end zone, throws to Claypool. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Back shoulder fade just as Claypool got across the pylon. Six points, Notre Dame. Takes a snap, drops back, he's in trouble, rolls out, still in trouble, finds time, lifts it way down the middle of the field to Claypool, falls incomplete, ball knocked to the ground, incomplete, Georgia will take over. So over the last 20 seasons, with at least five touchdowns in the team's first four games to the air again, and this is Jamar Chase, he's in a chase, and he will take it all the way. One play, 6.64 yards. LSU looks unstoppable. One high. LSU averaging 17 yards per play. Add to that with this touchdown catch from Jamar Chase. It goes for 25. Where he would turn his back to the line. That time he got crushed. Lobs it up, and it's a leaping catch. Go for a first down with a flag to Chase. And Burrow gets up. With a flag in front of him. Since the first quarter at Texas two weeks ago. This is going to be a big one. It's Jamar Chase again. Chase will take it to the house. A 51-yard catch and run for Jamar Chase. Second score of the day. Vaughn breaks through. Makes the safety miss. And wins his foot race. Keyshawn Vaughn is off on a 52-yard scoring run. Pocket holds, another end zone shot. Beautiful pitch and catch, it's Jamar Chase again. His third touchdown of the game. Farmy's fourth, and it's 16 yarder there. Well, some crisp looking, it's blocked by LSU! And now they add a special teams touchdown! It's that man again, it's Baskerville who recovered the onside kick, and now he comes in with the punt block. To, he's, he's, he's more of an East Nashville. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Intercepted by Vanderbilt, Randall Haney. And he's going to take it all the way back to the end zone. But there's a flag on the play. Back in the backfield at the 30.